This is the future. Revolution. Good day guys and welcome to the very first Cribzone live show ever. I'm going to try and do this show at least once a week. Well, I'm going to try and bring this type of show out on Saturdays if, it's, um, if I am able to do that for you guys. I know at the moment it's not really a live show but as soon as I can get my data coverage sorted out it's going to become live because the aim of the game is to live stream this show every Saturday so that I can have more of an interactive show and so that I can chat with you guys while we are busy going through the news and some interesting information that I can gather for the week as well as the awesome music that I want to play for you. At this point it's going to be copy free music because obviously you cannot play whatever you want but I am busy working on uh, something that I have read up upon uh, in the week that has to do with the uh, YouTube music policies. So we'll get to that in a, a bit later. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. So just a quick background story, how this show came about. Well, I wanted to start my own radio show. And uh, after going through it on the internet and uh, getting the whole thing set up, on the day that I wanted to go live, it pops up a message that I need to pay for a plan. And according to all my research that I've done, that was not supposed to be like that. It was supposed to be free for one hour every day. And uh, after looking for everything, I found out that it's now suddenly turned into a free trial for two weeks. So what am I going to do after two weeks that I'm going to have to pay anyway? So I discarded the radio idea. Then I moved over to a podcast. But the podcast profile was closed, unfortunately, after my first show because I used music. Not copyright music, not commercial music, music in general. Point. Tla. So unfortunately, that was closed. So this is the only platform left to me. Is to do like a vlog on Saturdays where I can play my music for you guys and give you some interesting information of whatever happened during the last week or what news was trending in the last week. So please, sit back, relax and enjoy the best copy-free music that I could find to play for you today. So you would probably want to know what's up in the show today, what highlights are there? So the following news was trending in the last week. South Africa is planning to put up a new bullet train. South Africa is also trying out a new COVID vaccine. There was a guy who tried to quarantine himself on one of Disney's islands. He-Man gets a new series. Homebrew beer is booming in South Africa and killing a couple on the way. There are new fines for breaking the law if you do anything wrong in level 4 lockdown. There is a new DLC planned for Mortal Kombat 11. There's a new Bucky on the way, um, Ford Bucky in South Africa. Our president decides to release another 19,000 prisoners. There's a new concept design out for the PS5. Loan sharks are stealing Sasa cards from old people. Zoom is a bunch of shit, and I'll tell you why. And Vodacom launched 5G in South Africa. So if you want to know more about all these interesting news pieces, then stick around, because this is gonna get crazy. So, let's get the show started with our first tune. Enjoy. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. Let's go. This is your radio, your station. Yeah. 
reconcile Cause in my heart it's not worthwhile It's a bloody battlefield Where some go down, others heal In the end it's all the same All you can do is play the game for today starting off is that um, well you'll see I'm reading on the screen here I actually had to script this thing I've never scripted anything before so I try to script everything and keep everything in perspective so if I don't look at you guys it's not that I'm being rude I'm just reading the info that I've got you okay so the Department of Transport wants to introduce a new high-speed rail network in South Africa the framework for the project has already been developed and implemented nice to know the project will not solely be funded by government, but will be financed through invest, uh, investor funding as well as a private sector participation. This would also help end the mo monopolies that Praza and Transnet has in the rail sector. It will likely only be introduced by 2025 at the earliest. But this being South Africa, you can add another 10 or 15 years to that. We all know how the Kusili power station plan went, eh? South Africa begins a COVID-19 BCG vaccine trial. Now the company or the place is called TASC. A TASC is a medical trial center in Cape Town. And uh, they have administered the BCG vaccine to 250 healthcare workers as part of a clinical study to help fight off the effects of COVID-19. 
BCG is used as a vaccine against tuberculosis in children, but it also has non-specific protective effects against other respiratory tract infections in children and adults. So if that proves successful, then we might have a kind of a barrier to lessen the effects of COVID. It's not a cure, but it could help to prevent somebody from maybe getting it or not getting it in such a severe um, grade. So South Africa does vaccinate all newborns with BCG. Revaccinating adults could help reduce the consequences of the pandemic. The study is currently funded by TASC and limited to 500 participants. A 42-year-old man was arrested after trying to quarantine on private Disney Island. <laughs> he called a tropical paradise, which, he had been close, which has been closed to the public since 1999. Richard Maguire was spotted on the Disney-owned property, which is currently closed. He was ordered not to return to any additional Disney World properties. Well, on that note, let's listen to some more tunes.
Want to know what's next? Please head over to my webpage at www.cryptzone.co.za and come and check out the page. You will notice there is a lot of information on there. Hyperlinks are provided so that you don't have a problem going anywhere. Head up to my podcast page and come and see what am I currently working on on my podcast. There is also the Cryptzone live page which I will update regularly to let you know when I'm going to do the next show like this one. The goal is to try and do one every week. Head on over to my Cryptzone YouTube page and come and check out what are the latest videos that I am working on and also what new videos is up and coming. If you have any queries or questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can email me at shell.reaper at gmail.com. Okay, you guys are tuned in to Cryptzone Live and hopefully it will become very live soon depending on my service provider and if I don't have like a 0.5 or 1 meg download on LTE thanks to them Who remembers He-Man? You know He-Man, this guy And the masters of the universe Well, get ready because the Masters of the Universe is getting a new series. Masters of the Universe Revelation A Netflix, uh, Netflix's upcoming Kevin Smith project Masters of the Universe Revelation is going to be the He-Man version of Game of Thrones excluding the nudity obviously. He-Man is a beloved television show from when cartoons were used as a marketing tool to sell products to children. The finance uh, the franchise has been revived in different animated irrita- uh, irritations <laughs> iterations over the past few decades, but now the anime proves to be something different. The series is going to take a new direction by leaning into the darker elements of the He-Man storyline. Voice talents that are attached to the series are Lena Hidei as Evelyn, Liam Cunningham as Man at Arms, Sarah Michelle Gellar, you know Buffy, as Tila, Mark Hamill as Skeletor, and Chris Wood as Prince Adam. Smith confirms that the characters have not been redesigned for the next, net, next Netflix show. The show will be a direct continuation of the 1990s cartoon and follow Tila as she searches for the Power Sword. The show will be animated by Powerhouse Animations the same studio responsible for Castlevania, which is on season 3, by the way. Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath announces Robocop as a DLC and more. It continues where Mortal Kombat 11 left off. There will be three new characters, Fujin, Shiva and Robocop. Additional content offered in the paid expansion will include an update on the 26th of May that will add new stages, fatalities and friendships. There's a new Ford Bucky on the way to South Africa, the Ford Maverick. 
and they say it could be a Bantam successor. But until then, here's some more tunes for you. Enjoy.
the ultimate power in the universe. Let's go. This is your radio. Your station. Welcome back and you are tuned to Cribzone Live. And the next interesting story is that home brewed beer is not such a good idea. In Northern Cape a couple died after making home brewed beer. The free market has been closed since the lockdown began, so the black market is thriving. And so is home-brewed beer, vodka, ciders, and even pineapple beer. That's why you'll see pineapples don't get sold in the shops anymore. There has been a significant rise of people creating their own alcoholic drinks in the comfort of their own homes. You cannot keep a South African down, man. 
We'll do whatever we can. Even if it means smoking us all. Be warned, it can be dangerous and it may be challenging to get anything viably palatable. The distilling process produces highly flammable vapors and so they can be a, they can be a high risk of explosion or fire. The initial liquid that comes off a still is likely to contain methanol and this is very poisonous and can cause blindness and severe poisoning. So uh, for you guys bring at home, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. <laughs> On a sadder note, South African breweries is said to dump 130 million liters of beer if they don't get permission from government to transport alcohol during the lockdown. Local storage at production facilities are close to capacity with bottled and packed, uh, packaged products. So why are you continuing to produce beer? Huh? Gee whiz, man. You can see the stuff is going nowhere, so stop it. You can be fined up to 5,000 Rand for breaking the lockdown rule. This includes spreading false news about COVID-19, illegal gatherings, selling or transporting liquor, selling tobacco, and so forth and so on. But you won't get a fine for listening to these tunes.
President Cyril Ramaphosa has authorized the people has authorized the parole of selected categories of sentenced offenders as part of the country's lockdown. Nineteen thousand of them. Give or take. The president said that the, re- the measure is being introduced to combat the spread of the virus in correctional facilities so that social distancing and self-isolation conditions can properly be observed. It is good to be a criminal in this country these days, isn't it? Actually, it was always good to be a criminal in this country. The parole dispensation will apply to low-risk inmates who have passed their minimum detention period or will approach this period in the next coming five years. So some people that's going to be there for the next five years is going to get a like a short cut. You know. The inmates that are released will be under parole and may be arrested and thrown back in jail if they violate their release conditions. So we've got a lot of people on lockdown, losing their jobs every day as we are speaking. There's people that don't have money to buy food this month. So why not throw another 19,000 into the population? Yeah, what the fuck? Let's just do that. No. It's not going to put any more strain. No. No problem. Loan sharks were caught with over 200 Sasa cards. These assholes take the Sasa cards from the poor old people to pay up their loan payments. Two loan sharks were arrested after they were seen at a cash machine at Tabong Mall in Sebokeng, passing through card after card to get the cash out. For fuck's sakes, guys. Sasa pays like 1,500 Rand to an old person, and he must survive the whole month from that. There's no shame in this place anymore. Nothing. May you rot in hell. There's a new depiction of what the PS5 could look like. To be honest, I looked at the video and it looks like a snack witch maker to me. It's anything but beautiful. But everyone has his own opinion, so maybe you like the way it looks. I don't. So. Zoom was in the spotlight again after logins were put on sale in the dark web. How many times must I tell people to not use it? They've told many times now that the thing is unstable and it is not safe, it's insecure, it's got flaws, but no. You know WhatsApp does the same thing? You can actually conference call more than one person on a WhatsApp call. Why use Zoom? More than half a million login details were placed on the dark web. The logins were put up for sale at one pence each and were discovered and bought by a cybersecurity intelligence company, Sybil. The company has been sued amid accusations. It had flaws in its apps, seen cases of online trolls sneaking and disrupt web meetings with profanity and porn. To mention but a few things. Then Vodacom launches commercial 5G in South Africa. Vodacom has switched on Africa's first live 5G mobile network in three cities, Johannesburg, Pretoria and Cape Town. For now you can get 5G home internet for 899 Rand per month. Given enough spectrum, it will work at an average speed of 150 megabytes per second up to 200 megabytes per second and it can reach peak speeds of above 1 gig. Telcom, uh, telecom analysts believe 5G rapid activation capability will be more compelling to South Africans to co- uh, in comparison to fiber. They reckon that it is faster than fiber for now. Both Vodacom and Rain offers 5G packages that are cheaper than fiber. Let me know in the comments below whether you like this way of this type of show um, like I said, it is going to become interactive. It's going to become a live stream as soon as I am able and capable. And unfortunately, my OBS studio also decided to break down on me because it doesn't want to pick up my face with the NDI system anymore. It could be because my network is so fucked that it doesn't pick up my phone. So that's the problem. I will be uh, playing the next series of Beast Inside tomorrow. Unfortunately, you will not see my face because there is no NDI working but at least you can enjoy chapter 3 of that also let me know in the comments do you think that DJ Pro is the way to go 
or would you like me to use WinAmp in the future um, shows and show you more of those uh, visualizations? It's, I think, a bit more something interesting to look at than just uh, turntables. So let me know in the comments which one you would prefer, the DJ Pro or WinAmp. So guys, this is Shaw signing out for Crips on Live. Until the next time, cheers. Turns the sun rays and on and on.